Hello, this is Vampire. Okay, so uh, I apologize that this video took a while to, to make or um, actually I, I kind of forgot about this question. So uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was asked about breathing. So what, what kind of breathing methods? Um, so first I have to say in, in the Arnis, the traditional Arnis that I learned, um, I, I was not taught a breathing method personally so maybe my teacher you know didn't know or or um, you know he just never got to that level or uh, I wasn't at that level um, I don't remember anything about breathing uh, so so that's that's all I have to say uh, now later on in in the college um, I trained with a guy who was ex-military and um, this guy he was uh, he learned Filipino martial arts from another guy that was a Vietnam vet and that guy used to be a helicopter pilot and the story that was told to me was that um, the last tour I believe that that uh, his teacher did the helicopter crashed it was I think it was shot down and it was it crashed and it was pretty much a life or death situation where he was underneath the helicopter and it was one of those where if you passed out, you're going to die. You're not going to make it. So um, he was able to survive using special breathing techniques. So um, in his system of Filipino martial arts, the breathing is extremely important. He teaches it as vital. And uh, normally... Um, in Filipino martial arts, I believe this is the standard, is you're, you're supposed to look at the opponent's eyes. And you pretty much use intimidation and defeat the opponent before the fight begins kind of thing. So it's pretty much your stare down that you see in um, MMA or boxing or kickboxing is, is the stare down kind of thing. That's what was taught to me for traditional uh, arnis and stuff like that, right? Um, in this guy's system, this military... Um, FMA, um, he, the way that he teaches is, is that to look at a line, imaginary line created right here. Okay, so he doesn't look at the eyes, he looks at this. So he's using peripheral vision. And basically the idea is if you look at this line right here, whether they're going to punch or kick, upper body or lower body, right side or left side, you're going to be able to read it just from looking at this line. And then from from there... He, he also taught to visualize. So he was like, look at the center right here. And my friend, what he, he told me is this guy, um, he was a military brat from my understanding. So there's a base on Guam. And he, he uh, his childhood was in Guam, I think all the way up to high school. And so he grew up in the beautiful beaches of Guam. And so his idea is to right here imagine this beautiful beach blue skies calm waves you know the the hot warm sand at your feet and just enjoying living life like that right so in other words his method is to relax to breathe and relax breathe deep and so that what well, that is what was taught to me from his style and I mean just imagine in a real-life situation self-defense where you're being attacked and the situation is obviously a bad situation where it turns into a physical altercation it's intense there's a lot of force there's a lot of pressure um, and so within that kind of text context imagine breathing the guy that could do that is scary it's scary either that or he's gonna get knocked out really fast right so um, that to me is my a game that's what I'm aiming for that's what I'm striving for so in other words I have three different methods of breathing a B and C a is the best and to me that is the best to be able to be relaxed like this isn't this is nothing you know the guy throws a punch trying to knock me out trying to do ugly things with bad intentions and I just you know just dodge it like that like it's just like I'm having fun or something 
that's a great day for me. If I'm able, if my mindset is that calm, I'm that relaxed, and I'm just able to just flow like that, I'm I'm having a great time. So that's A. B is because A is very hard to do. So B is a little bit more, I don't want to say realistic, but I'm probably going to be in B. So B, the breathing method I have for that one, more common, is going to be pretty much what you see in combat sports, boxing, kickboxing. You know, in boxing, they're like, shh, shh, shh. And then in Muay Thai kickboxing, you're like, ish, ish, you know, that kind of, that kind of breathing. So the breathing is a lot harder. There, it kind of matches more the force that you're going to be delivering. So the body kind of is easier for the body to understand that. And it's definitely to fight uh, your natural instinct, which is to hold your breath. So if a punch is coming at your face, you're going, <gasps> and you hold your breath, and that's how you fight, you're going to uh, lose all your energy really quickly. Your stamina is going to be depleted fast. Um, and you're going to be real tense. It's not a good way to move. So, you know, this forces you, this kind of uh, what you see in combat sports. Those guys are used to pressure, the title matches, having family in the ringside. You know, they're, they're used to fighting, performing under pressure. So that's a very, very realistic way of breathing. So then the last one, the, um, C, is when things are really bad. So it goes from ideal optimistic to more realistic, this is probably what's going to happen. It's not the best, but this, and then C is the absolute worst. This is the worst case scenario where I'm pretty much frozen. I pretty much held my breath. So I'm like, you know, and I'm like, oh man, I'm freaking out here. Okay. So at that moment, it's hard to get to B or, or A is like, it's going to feel like it's a mile away. So for me, I need a third breathing method and that comes from traditional karate, where you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and you are doing these, this kind of really deep breathing, it really um, uh, tensing and flexing your body like so. So to me, that is being able to fight while semi-frozen, semi-holding your breath and still being able to do stuff because normally at that point, the average person would just be frozen, just going and holding their breath. So uh, that, so to me, it's realistic to have three different methods for each different si situation. So I hope that makes sense. That's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.